Hey guys, this is a review of some of the new features in the Messages app in iOS 10. So, hang on. Let me just go back. So, something cool you can do is you can go in here and you can draw. So, like, if you want this full view, you can do that. And then you just let that send off. And you can see that the receiver basically receives it in real time. And you can type as normal. But another interesting thing that you can do is tap and hold on the send button or um, if you've got a success on newer use 3D touch the send button and then you can always pick from bubble effects or screen effects so let's say I want to send that and another cool thing that you can have is you can actually get apps as well so like if I show you and you can go to store and you can get more apps I don't know why I got taken to that, but there we go. You can see I'm back in there again. It's a bit buggy, I've no idea why. And another thing that you can do, which is quite cool, is if you double tap on the previous message, then you get these options. So hang on. Um, and, um, you can basically take a photo as well. Hang on. Messages. Se selected. Attach. Replay. Selected. Attach media. Selected. Attach media. Voice over off. So you can see I've got a live view of my camera. And then I can... Voice over. Messages. Photo. Portrait. Photo. Portrait. Photo. Photo. As... That photo. Um. Voice over on. Selected. Close. But invisible ink. But invisible ink. So you can see that it's basically blanked out of photo. Cabot, gentle. Send. Button. So that when Send. when you receive it. Voice over off. Yeah, good close up of this. So you can see that it's kind of covered up. But that is just some of the new features in the Messages app for iOS 10. Hope you enjoyed.